Hey Ludos fans, it's Mike the Penguin here with another Monday Arcade. This time it's Serious Sam 3, BFE. This game starts off the campaign with uh, aliens attacking. And it's been about three years and humanity is really struggling for survival. They had this alien weapon that they had found quite a while back, but they have no idea how to turn it on. And apart from that, I have no idea how that ties in with Serious Sam exactly. I wasn't someone who really played the Serious Sam games in the past, so there's some sort of backstory to it I am not sure but you pretty much start off with your helicopter getting attacked and you land somewhere and you're trying to survive and get out of that place and it's really fun at the beginning um, when you finally get a pistol and you can just start shooting stuff it feels quite a bit like Unreal Tournament uh, the graphics I wouldn't say are the best in the world but I mean they're not the worst in the world either so uh, it's a little give and take, but it's definitely more of a game for gameplay. Now, the overall shooting for it, like, you don't really have to aim anywhere. You pretty much just have to um, have it in the direction of an enemy and they'll die. You don't have to be right pinpoint on it. The game does most of the work for you, but it's been pretty fun just uh, running around and shooting stuff and getting to be the big badass um, awesome dude which I'm pretty sure that's what this game's mainly about. There's instant kill things that you can do on enemies, like ripping eyes out and whatever, um, which are very satisfying, and every different type of enemy has one. Uh, there's different weapons you can have, like shotguns, hammers, pistols, uh, maybe more, but you definitely have to get to the point where you know what type of weapon is going to work best against what enemy. Like humans do better with shotguns, um, skeleton dudes, and the bigger meteor type stuff the hammer does a lot better against those but there's uh some little frustrations where like the bosses always seem really really hard like i played this on normal and everything was a piece of cake and then you get to a boss and it's like they're way way overpowered and the only way you can beat them is by playing ring around the rosy with them and end up killing them that way there's also a endless mode with the game and it's basically like a horde mode where you can uh, fight and try and survive as long as you can. Um, the game itself, when you buy it, on Xbox Live at least, it comes as two separate things. You can pay 1200 Microsoft points and get the campaign and the survival mode just from that, which I think is really cool because there's a lot of people I know that are just like Serious Sam campaign fans and don't really care about multiplayer as much. And then I know that there's people that are the opposite that like the multiplayer better. So um, you can pick up the campaign and the survival for 1,200 Microsoft points and then turn around if you want to get the multiplayer and stuff too, pay another 1,200 Microsoft points to get that uh, along with some DLC for the campaign, I believe. But overall, this game, like, it'll send constant enemies at you. It's really fun, and I recommend getting it just because it's really... A uh, nice game to sit back and just go through. You can run through if you want, or you can sit there and fight the tons and tons of enemies that it sends at you. Again, with bosses, like, it just comes down to a big ring around the rosy thing. Like, um, mechanical guys that go and just shoot, like, a ridiculous amount of rockets at you that can kill you in pretty much one hit. So, the harder difficulties might be a little better or different, but, I mean, I just played on normal and things seemed quite a bit easy uh, except for the bosses. The bosses are just annoying. So overall, um, I like this game. If you'd like to see some gameplay of it, visit my channel at www.youtube.com slash MikeThePenguin and I will see you next week with another Monday Arcade. <laughs>